everyone and we're going to continue learning Russian so here is the students place channel and we are going to continue so in the previous lesson we have finished all the information about the Russian ABC so I hope that you've learned yeah, a lot and it was helpful at least and I hope that you've done these assignments yes that uh, I've just gave you yeah uh, the previous lesson so and today we are going to practice uh saying something right so the first thing we usually do when we meet a new person right we greet yeah them we greet them so some really basic uh phrases we use in russian i'm going to give you now so uh, we start with the russian hello so actually it is the first phrase we usually say when we meet someone we have never met before right or when we for example greet some people we are not for example very close to right so just a very formal greeting in russian it will be здравствуйте just i will do it in print okay Zdra. okay so here is v but it is silent, so I will give you the transcription and you will understand, so the way uh, it goes, really. Здравствуйте. Alright, but the transcription would be something like that. So you see, V becomes silent when we pronounce it in this phrase. Здравствуйте. Здравствуйте. So, здравствуйте, it's a quite like quite a formal way of greeting. You can um, just imagine that in Russian, здравствуйте literally means I wish you health because здравствуйте means здраво желаю. Желаю. Здраво желаю. Like this. Like здоровье. Health. Mm -hmm. So like this. Okay. Like this. So it is quite old form, like Zdrava Jalai. So actually it's kind of a root, yes. So how the phrase Zdrastuitsia appeared in Russian. So and actually Zdrastuitsia means I wish you to be healthy. Uh, yes, yeah, so a very pretty and kind way of greeting. You can also use um, a bit less formal way uh, because look, Zdrastuitsia actually it's a verb can you guess it because здравствуй здравствуй it's a verb and here we've got a kind of a phrase like be healthy like здравствуй те so this thing yes which is kind of a an editing yes to the phrase uh it's actually it shows that we are uh, like greeting a person with whom we are in quite formal way, yes, uh, terms of communication. Yes, so not in casual terms. Uh, right, and if you are in this casual terms, you can use здравствуй. So, so you see, здравствуйте, yes, kind of formal. Здравствуй, it's less formal, because we are getting rid of this here, yes, which shows that the person we are like talking with is like our like not close friend, yeah, or just bosses, maybe colleagues, yeah, or like some acquaintances. And trust we we can use with friends, with even our relatives. It's okay, like this. Z, d, r, s, d, v, y. Okay, so uh, the next phrase, which is very, very popular and very, very good, very casual way to greet your friends, to greet your relatives, your family members, is hi. So, after hello, 
Yes, we've got hi, and in Russian it will be привет, привет. Uh -huh. I will do it in print style, okay? Привет. So it will be like that. Привет. Okay? So you can greet your friends and relative with this phrase, like привет, привет. So the stress will be here. Привет. Right. Actually, we can use a bit less formal, like more colloquial one, like hey in English, right? We use it. Hey. And in Russian, it will be privetik. Privetik. Mm -hmm. So we use this ending, like this suffix. Mm -hmm. Privetik. Pri Like that. Right. So, and now let's go further. Also, we've got some phrases like in English. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, right? So, I will show you how it is going in Russian. Okay. So, in English we've got good morning, right? Good morning. So we wish that uh, yes, uh, the morning will be good. So in Russian we say Dobre utra. Dobre. Dobro. Yeah. In English it will be kind. So literally Russian phrase Dobre utra means kind morning. Like that. Dobre utra. Kind morning. So we wish our loved ones or our uh, relatives or colleagues, yes, uh, to have their morning yes, in a good way, a kind way. Yeah, so dobre means kind. I think your head is blocking what you're writing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, so this way. Uh, actually, so dobry means kind, so as if you uh, already understood. So, and this phrase we can use just before 12 p.m., right? So from 12 a.m. till 12 p.m. in the afternoon. Uh, the next phrase, which is absolutely good and well, neutral way of greeting. Good afternoon, right, in English, good afternoon. So, uh, in Australia there are some phrases like good day, right? Okay. So, and actually in Russia we've got Dobry Dien. So, the same. Dobry. Dobry. So, um, do not be confused with the endings, okay? Like Dobro je Dobry. So, we will like take it um, later. We will take it slowly. Dobry Dien. Okay? So, Dobry Dien. So, afternoon, um, it's like Balding actually in Russian. So actually, literally, the phrase Dobry Din means kind day, to tell you the truth. Like kind day, literally. Okay? But in English, we've got good afternoon. Afternoon in Russian means pol din, like polavina dnia, like a half of a day. Okay? Pol din. Okay? So, um, but actually, um, you can say Dobry Din not only, for example, from 12 p.m. till 6 p.m. No, you can say this phrase like during all the yes, period of time you are talking with a person with, like all the day, it's it will be actual. Okay, and uh, let me see, I will give it in this part of the whiteboard. Uh, good evening, yeah? Good evening. So, uh, actually in Russian it will be the same way, but evening means вечер in Russian, вечер. So, not good, but kind, like this. So, kind evening, yeah? And it means добрый вечер. So, and now some transcriptions, okay? 
I will come back to the first phrase. So instead of translations, I will give you transcriptions now, okay? Okay, so, доброе утро. Доброе. Доброе утро. Okay, so the stress goes to the first syllable. Доброе утро. Доброе утро. Uh -huh, let's repeat it again. Доброе. Do you remember this alveola? Alveola. D, d, d in English. Forget about it. <laughs> Forget about your alveola. Доброе утро. Доброе утро. No, not доброе утро. D, d, d. Just touch, reach your, yes, the tip of your tongue. Yes, close it to the upper teeth. To the upper teeth. Доброе. Доброе. Just close to the upper teeth. Yes, like press. Press your um, tongue's tip to the upper teeth. Okay? Доброе утро. The same with t. Доброе утро. R, rolling R, do you remember? Dobre utra, dobre utra. Okay. The next phrase, dobri din. Dobri, dobri. Do you remember this? I kratke, right? And u, it's quite a difficult phrase to tell the truth. So you should keep in mind lots of things, lots of pronunciation issues, right? Yes, yeah, some tricks. Dobri, 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 di, dobri, okay? Dobri. Di. Okay, so some consonants, yes, are soft. So, have you, have you like, mm, seen this symbol? So, it's a soft sign. And DIN becomes so soft, yes, in the end. DIN. Okay. So, and Dobry Vecher, right? Just look at this. Dobry Вечер. Добрый вечер. Вечер. So V Russian V is quite similar to the English one. Вечер. Вечер. Добрый вечер. Please, please, I ask you to practice as more as possible. So you can like pause the video anytime you need and try to repeat after me. Well, so, and now some phrases, um, not only to greet a person, yeah, but now to say goodbye, right? So, how to do that? How to do that? Some phrases to say goodbye. So, actually, you can say do свидания, which literally means till the next meeting, okay? So, till the next meeting meeting it's literally yeah uh, the meaning of the phrase do свидания which actually yes in english we say goodbye goodbye okay um i will i will tell you about a kind of a similar phrase as goodbye okay but there are more good way yes to say Goodbye, yeah, uh, in formal way. Do svidania. Do svidania. Do svidania. Do svidania. So you see in this phrase, we've got a particle do and the phrase svidania, like meeting, okay? And the stress goes not on the uh, this, yeah, thing, but on the word, like svidania, okay? Um, like this. And actually, we also have a phrase prashai. Prashai. 
which is actually means goodbye actually but in russian Prashai means that you will maybe not see the person you are like saying goodbye okay like Prashai means that you will maybe never see each other again so it's a kind of a sad one okay so it's a kind of goodbye actually so yeah be careful um so like uh, in english goodbye means till the next yeah, meeting so and the next like more f like less formal okay so now let's go back to the informal phrases like like bye, okay? So, in English we say bye, yeah, when we just, um, okay, finish, yes, the conversation with a friend, yes, or with a relative and just say bye, yeah, or bye-bye. In Russian it will be пока, yeah, пока, пока. Okay, so the stress goes to the second syllable. Пока. So, actually, we also see so say something like, see you soon. Yeah, so in English you can also say, see you soon, or see you, right? See you, yeah, see you soon, see you. And in Russian we can say, до встречи, okay? Увидимся, увидимся. Увидимся. And actually, увидимся is a verb, okay, yeah, uh, which means that you and the person you are talking with will meet, yeah, sometimes too. Увидимся. 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 So the stress go on the uh, second vowel. Увидимся. Well, so, and now let's try to sing, let's try to... Find out how to introduce yourself, okay? So, now we've got the basic phrases, like how to greet, how to say bye-bye. But what is in the middle, yeah? What is in the middle of the conversation, right? So, in the middle of the conversation, we need to introduce ourselves, right? Like, in English, we usually say, uh, my name is, yeah, so let me introduce myself, right? Something like that. So, or I am, right? So, in Russian, let's start with the first. I am Natalie, for example, right? I am Natalie. In Russian will be Ya Natalia. So and here we've got the first thing. Yes, we've already mentioned uh, discussing the ABC, the Russian ABC, that I actually literally means Ya, so the pronoun, okay? Yeah, so the personal pronoun. Um, in English, you've got a verb am, which is not yeah, or used in Russian. So in Russian, you don't need yeah, to use the verb, the verb to be. So like, ya yist, right? So um, literally, am in Russian will be yist. Ya yist, Natalia. It's not like that, okay? So it doesn't sound good in Russian. Uh, uh, well, they will understand you, okay? So, I mean, the Russian people will understand you, but it will be kind of strange, okay? Quite, kind of weird. Okay, and here let's briefly discuss the personal pronouns, okay? Like, I means ya, we means me. So, you see, <laughs> like we, yes, uh, so uh, the first letter, yes, is W, which is like upside down here, and the upside down W is M, like me, maybe it will be quite trickiest thing to remember, like I, ya, we, me, okay, uh, you, in English, we've got you both for, um, for example, singular, right, our partner, yes, who we are talking with, yes, or maybe if we've got a lot of people we are talking with, with also, uh, we also use you, and even if we are talking with the both, right, or with our, like, uh, quite formal, 
in quite formal terms, right? With the person uh, with whom we are in quite term, uh, formal terms, right? We also use you. And in Russian, you will be ты, ты, if our partner is uh, in the same position, I mean socially, um, like, and in terms of the age, right? So when you speak with someone who you are, well, friends or like quite close acquaintances, right? Uh, well, just in the same positions, right? Without any mm, like social yeah, 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 gaps. Yeah, so it's just informal, informal you. Informal you, ты, okay? So, ты мой друг, okay? So, you are my friend, ты мой друг. Uh, or, for example, let me see the situation. Uh, я, Наталья. Uh, and, for example, ты, Дмитрий, Дмитрий, okay? Ты, Дмитрий, мой друг, yeah, my friend. Then I will tell you. Uh, ты, um, how are you, да? Как ты? So, so, how are you, okay? Как ты? And the formal you in Russian will be вы. And be attentive, you need to start with a capital letter. If you are talking with a person who is, for example, older than you, who is in more high position than you socially or maybe just formally, right, at, at work or maybe at university and such ways, in such situations, okay? So, and then in the phrase, how are you? In English, nothing yes, cha yeah, uh, will change. Um, okay, and in Russian it will be, как вы? Dmitri, for example, if Dmitri will be not my friend, but for example, my colleague who is a bit older than me, yeah, and maybe we are not in very good or close relationships, not very close terms, and I will tell him, как вы, Dmitri? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, and in English we've got you for plural as well, and in Russian we've got we, but starting with a lowercase v. So, this is the very important thing. So, if you are uh, like talking with a person uh, who is like a person, like in singular, yes, you use a singular, uh, you have personal pronoun and um, they are in higher position than you, you've got this capital letter V. And if you're just uh, talking with a group of people, no, yeah, and no matter, yeah, no matter who they are, you will say we, my auditoria, my audience, for example, mm -hmm. we, my studenti, my students, uh, you, my students, we, my studenti. So keep going. Да продолжаем. So and the last, yeah. So the third uh, person, yeah, pronounce he in English. In Russian, it will be. On, like this, on, okay, we, yes, it's kind of difficult, so, yeah, uh, kind of, kind of, e, yeah, so, of course, you should keep in mind that it's not e, not t or v, yes, it's just difficult because uh, there aren't any symbols, yes, for e uh, in Russian, okay, yeah, so, like, we, yes, and we as well, so it's um, like harder. On, okay. Uh, she, Anna, like this, like this, do you remember it? Mm -hmm. Anna, 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 on, Anna, he, she, he, she. So even here, right, in English, you've also changed, you have also changed. Um, one letter, right? He and she. What is, the difference, what is the difference between he and she? Only the first letter S, yes, and she. The same here in Russian, but, uh, but backwards, like on, Anna, you, you need to add A, ah, yes, uh, in the end of on, <laughs> which, like, makes it turn into <laughs> another gender, like uh, a girl or a woman, Anna, or something, yes, or like this. And the last, okay, I will do it here, eat, right, eat, 
in English for some objects which are not alive, right? Um, okay, so in Russian it will be ANO. Oh, you see. So it will be again the same root, like ON, ANA, ANO. So O. ANO. ANO. And the plural. They in English, они in Russian. Они. Mm -hmm. And here, let me see. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Just a moment. Он, она, yeah, она, оно, они. Yeah. We need bear in mind one thing that о, uh, yes, in unstressed in unstressed positions, right, uh, is not pronounced like о, actually, like она, okay, uh, она, like this, она, оно, они, so, о, but we do not pronounce it like that, okay, so, and now going back to the introduction, I am Natalie, я Наталья. For example, you can say that Ya and your name, just like this. Okay. And another phrase we can start our introduction is my name is. Right? In English we usually say my name is. My name is uh 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 and you can use your name. In Russian, меня зовут. Меня, меня, окей, меня зовут, зовут, зовут. So, or is unstre is in unstressed position. Зовут. Меня зовут. Меня зовут. Mm -hmm. And your name, like this. So, literally, меня зовут means they call me in English. So, меня means me. And зовут means call. So, they call me and your name. So, you see, меня, me, зовут, call. Mm -hmm. They, it means that someone, yes, yeah, so some people call you. Natalie, or anyway, yeah, like Jane or Margaret, doesn't matter. They call me. Hey, my name is Natalie, right? Okay, so in some phrases like nice to meet you, okay, glad to meet you, something like that. So, how it will be in Russian? Uh, glad right and nice to meet you we've got two variants to meet you to meet you uh, so in russian it will be rat познакомиться okay or приятно познакомиться so glad in russian means rat or rada if uh, you are a woman right <laughs> rad if you are a man rat познакомиться uh, so glad, yeah, literally it means glad, but in English you don't need to, to change the ending, yes, depending on their gender. And in Russian you need, right, like rad познакомиться, рада познакомиться, so the transcription. Ra rad or rada mm -hmm. Pozna-ko-mi-tsa. Oh, it's a very tricky thing here. Oh, very, very tricky. Okay, so we will crack this knot. Uh, so, poznakomitsa. So here we've got znakom. The root znakom. Uh, it means that you are familiar with something. Okay, so znakom. You've already met him, for example. So, um, yeah, you've been acquainted, yes, with each other. Uh, okay, so I will not go so deep and we will uh, only try to stick to this point, like tsa, yeah? So this combination of te 
мягкий знак. С я, окей, so ты, soft sign, с я, means са. I mean their pronunciation, like са. Познакомиться. So, yeah, it's kind of a tricky thing, like, um, there are some silent, right, um, sounds like that. So, it will be познакомиться. Рада познакомиться. Aha, here we go. If O is in an stressed position, it will be pronounced like A. Pazna, pazna komitsa. Like that. Pazna komitsa. Okay? Pazna komitsa. Rada pazna komitsa. Nice to meet you. Will be priyatno. Priyatno. Like, it's nice, it's sweet. Yes, it's sweet to meet you. P ri ya no. Приятно. Okay. So, I guess that's it for today. I hope that you've realized how great, how cool it is, yes, to greet someone. So, let's make a kind of a conclusion, okay? So, I will start only with Russian phrases and I will try to introduce myself and to greet you. Здравствуйте! Меня зовут Наталья. Я рада познакомиться. Пока-пока! Увидимся! So, see you next time. And please leave some comments, yes, about the video. So, how the lesson is going? How are you with the process? So, what things are quite, like, uh, interesting? What things are quite difficult? Please let us know. And we will see you next time. Bye! Пока! Увидимся!